I decided to get involved with the graphic novel project because I've always been, well, for since I was about 14, been interested in graphic novels. And I've, for the last sort of 10 years or so, been trying to do my own comics and with varying degrees of success. And this seemed like a really nice project because it had a framework, it had limitations, and it was really nice, the idea of it being based on Brighton history. I just thought that's the kind of book that people will want to buy, I think. I would want to buy a book about a graphic novel about Brighton history. Um, the story I've been illustrating is uh, called The, the Unfairm. It's based on a true story about a man called Henry Phillips and he decided to build a big glass greenhouse in, in Brighton, in Palmyra Square. Um, and he got really far with it and then a disaster struck because the builder decided to take down the central beam and the whole thing collapsed. So it only stayed up for one day and then it collapsed. So it's got, got quite a, a sad ending story. I did a lot of research about the kind of clothes that people wore. I got a really nice little book of... I went to the library a lot and um, I found lots of images of the different various kind of dresses that people wore and the high collars and and at the same time I was gathering lots of images of, of sort of 1860s Brighton, um, so old engravings and things which were going to add to the sense of, you know, to, to my feeling of what it actually looked like. But it's, it was just really interesting to discover all this this history of Brighton that's still sort of there, that, you know, this is still all around us. I loved having a really good story to get my teeth into as an illustrator and to really work on, just really enjoy the sort of period piece, which was just great. And working with, with Paul and, and Tim as mentors has been just fantastic, really, really useful and really interesting and, you know, getting a lot of insight into how you actually produce a graphic novel and then the, the meetups were fantastic. We, we met up regularly with our artists and our writers and it just really helped you to feel like you were part of something as a group, you know, and it was really interesting to see other people's work and that kind of spurred you on and made you feel you weren't working in a vacuum, you were actually you know, it was a project that we were all quite sort of proud of and I felt, as I saw images coming out, and, I mean the stories were all really good as well, but once I saw images coming out I was thinking, whoa, that's really quite good. <laughs> and that was kind of making me think, well, I better work really hard on this. So that that was all kind of mentored by them. They, they Paul and Tim, just really kind of felt like a very gentle but positive sort of role models really for for the whole thing you know I would say it's really helped me to develop as an artist you know in, in terms of like telling a story visually so yeah